this seminar is absolutely amazing for you guys. So I really hope that you're paying attention to everything you're hearing, you're taking it all in, you're getting to go to all the different hubs that are around the place and learning as much as you can about um, your bodies and yourself and um, how to live happier lives and a bit more fulfilled lives. My name is Emer Foley. I am from Bray. I played basketball for Ireland. I got a scholarship to America. I played over there. I was in America for 10 years. I was a teacher in the States. I was also um, a college basketball coach. I'm back in Ireland two years now. I left when I was 18 after the leaving cert, so I was gone for a long time. Since I'm home, I have coached the Irish under 20s women's team. You can see us down there. We had a tournament in the summer in Montenegro. Um, and I also am a teacher in a secondary school, and I also coach. Uh, secondary school basketball. That's me with my first years. I'm very goofy, as you can see. Um, down on the bottom, uh, I'm a plus size model, a curvy model. And I won the Face of Simply Be 2015. Um, so it gave me the opportunity. I was on the cover of their magazine for an entire year. I got a bunch of money for cool clothes. And I got to travel to Manchester and do a load of things. And it was, it was a great experience. Um, and then up in the top in the two corners, that's me with the Irish Girl Guides. I myself was a girl guide. Um, yes, girl guides, hello. Um, and uh, Basically, what I'm doing with the Irish Girl Guides is I'm an ambassador for a program called Free Being Me. Now, Free Being Me is an amazing program about um, body and body confidence, self-esteem. Um, it's an educational um, program, and it's run through the Irish Girl Guides, Girl Scouts, and it's done with Dove Self-Esteem. I need to go to the next slide. Thank you. Um, and. Basically, what it's all about is you guys having confidence in yourselves, loving your bodies, loving who you are, um, being happy with what your body can do, and just appreciating your life um, and enjoying yourself. And a lot of what I'm going to talk about is directed towards girls because it is a girls program, but I do believe this is equally enjoyable and a lot of information for, for, the, for males out there as well. I do know that they go through just about the same amount of issues and problems with self-esteem and body confidence as, as women do, do, it's just not talked about as much. Um, so I wish that I had a program like this. When I was growing up, I would have struggled a lot with confidence in myself and my body. I always thought I was very heavy, fat, ugly. Um, I didn't like my hair. I have massive hands, massive feet. I'm taller than the most average uh, girls. I was really sporty. Obviously, I played basketball for Ireland, but to me, that made me feel kind of manly. Um, I didn't like my skin color. Um, there was a lot of things about myself I didn't like, and so having a program like Free Being Me would have really helped me back then. Uh, to appreciate myself. It's taken a long time for me to love who I am and love my body, love my skin, love my hair. Um, and it's through my life experiences that have actually really helped me to discover myself and to appreciate myself. Now, I uh, did model for Simply Be, um, and I am a current curvy model. And it's been an amazing uh, experience because I've not been told that I need to be skinny or I need to change how I look. They're happy with the way I look. They like my size. Their clothes fit me, and, and it's, it's an amazing thing. But I've stepped out into organizations and agencies um, that have told me there isn't, um, there isn't a, an area for your ethnic background. You won't get much work. Um, that you're a little bit too big or that your nose is too wide and stuff like this. So it's still there. There's a lot of change that's necessary in media. And I know you all want to see uh, a demographic in magazines and in media that represent you. We, we're kind of tired of seeing people that aren't real. Um, I had a career ending injury, knee injury. So it put a lot of things in perspective for me all the time that I spent hating myself and wanting to not maybe be athletic or big or tall or all these things. It actually put it in perspective for me that I was so lucky to have all of these things um, and to be able to play basketball for Ireland and be able to, 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 to play basketball in general, to do any kind of sport or anything like that. And I think sometimes we miss um, the the beauty that is there in our bodies and inside and the things that we can do because we're so concerned with how we look in the exterior. Um, if we just click on this slide, this is a video about free being me. We've all, we've all wanted to be sp certain things in, the f in our future. And I think sometimes we are the only ones that hold ourselves back from accomplishing those things um, because of poor self-esteem and ideas that we're not good enough, we don't look the right way. We are all born with dreams. 
To be a dancer. To be a doctor. To be an astronaut. To be an explorer. But as we grow up, we will start to worry that the way we look isn't good enough. That we are not beautiful. Our worries will stop six out of ten of us from joining in when we would like to. From putting our hands up in class, playing games or even going to the doctors. It keeps us from reaching our full potential to be whatever we want to be. I want to be free being me. Free being me. Libre d'être moi. Ana Hara. Libre de ser yo. Free being me. You can help us be free. These are beautiful women, are they? All of them, absolutely beautiful women, okay? All different sizes. Um, some of you can relate to the different size, sizes, but you know what? There's, there's those of you out there that are wishing, I wish I looked like that skinny one, yeah? I wish I looked like that thicker girl. There is no right way to look, and no matter what way you look, you're always gonna wanna look another way. Okay, the Photoshop video basically is of a, a model who has come to work. Uh, she's no makeup on, she hasn't got her hair done. Uh, she lies down in front of the camera and they start to do her up. And they've done her hair, they put in her extensions, they put her makeup on. She looks like a completely different person by the end of it. And then once that is finished and they've taken the pictures, they then elongate her neck, elongate her legs, completely arch her back out, make her bum smaller, make it a little bit higher. They just completely change her as a, as a human. She, she's not a human anymore. And this is the kind of thing that we out there are trying to, to look like. It's not attainable, and it's not attainable because the person isn't human anymore. The things that, and the people that we see in magazines, it is not a realistic, um, uh, realistic or tangible thing that we can reach because those people are not real. And I've seen it, okay, I've models, and every company that you go with is, is very different, and some want me to be completely natural, and they want me to have my afro out, and they don't want fake eyelashes or anything like that, and then some want to try and put, you know, shading on my nose to make it look slimmer and more uh, Caucasian. Uh, they don't want to see my natural hair, but they want it to be straight, you know, so there's always this back and forth. Number one issue for teen girls today is poor self-esteem and body issue. And it's very sad, it's holding us back. It's holding us all back. F for girls and boys, you know, you have, I do feel for your generation, your Generation Z, because constantly in your face, all the time, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram, you name it, you've got all these diet fads, you've got, you know, the before and after pictures on these tea toxes and all this bigger bulk in protein shakes, you name it. Why can't we just be happy with, with, with how we look? One thing I'll say is, I was speaking uh, with Girl Guides, um, and they were a younger group of Girl Guides, and I asked them, I asked one of the girls, what was it about herself that she loved? And she said, I really love my eyes. And I, honestly, I figured she was gonna tell me she loved her eyes because they were blue, they were a beautiful blue, and I'm sure she'd gotten a lot of compliments about it. Um, and she said to me, I love my eyes because I can see. They allow me to see. And I think that's where our focus needs to be more. And I think we've forgotten the reality of our bodies and what they're, f what they're for and how lucky we are that we can see, that we can taste, that we can feel things, that we can walk and we can move, we can dance, we can do activities. And how lucky we take that for granted. We have a distorted image of ourselves and an unrealistic, attainable thing, a thing that is not attainable, um, goals that are not attainable for our bodies. And we should really just be happy with how they look. Um, just go to that last slide. That last slide is me when I was a kid with my dad. And I would love to be able to go back and meet that girl and say to her, Emer, you are beautiful the way you look. Your skin is beautiful, your hair is beautiful, and you are a beautiful person. And don't worry, everything is going to be okay. Okay? You need to be free to be who you are. Be free being me. And I want you all to remember that and really think that. What would you say to yourself if you could go back in time and you could talk to Minnie you? What advice would you give her or him to be able to live the life, like a good life, a happy life, without always being in your head and worrying about how you look and how you look to others? 
Really think about it. Okay, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much. You're all Ladies amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, Eva Foley. Thank you very much, Eva. Thank you.